Hey good people, welcome back to Beauty in the Frizz. My name is Kara, whether you're new or returning, thanks so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for another one. Doing one of my favorite videos, you guys, new makeup releases, and we definitely have some stuff to talk about. So if you wanna go ahead and comb through all the new makeup releases with me, keep watching this video, definitely, <laughs> definitely, cause I already know is one thing where I'm just like, come on, what are we doing, y'all? So definitely let me know what you think. And if makeup is your therapy and your love, if it makes you happy and you wanna connect with someone that feels the same way, definitely consider joining the community. I'd love to have you back. All right, let's get started. Let me just go ahead and move over right now because the foolery is real. Ooh. I ordered a Lisa Eldridge lipstick that I've been stalking. <laughs> well, kind of stalking for a couple weeks and it came back in stock and it's out for delivery. It is um, Atomic Cherry. I was watching an old video by Charlotte Holcroft and she had that on. And I went in the description box like, what is that because I need it in my life? And it was out of stock, but then she restocked everything. So I was like, I, I want that. All right, now as per usual, all of the makeup accounts that I follow will be listed in the description box, but I always start with my girl makeup release radar. So I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down and see where we left off last week. And we're gonna get this going. First, we have a new shade from the new Nomad Cosmetics palette. It seems like beads might be in the theme of this. I believe that now this palette is going to be released towards the end of June, I might be wrong, but I think that's what I read. So we'll continue to look at the sneak peeks. Let me know if you have any guesses of the destination. I usually do get PR from them, but I haven't gotten it yet. So I have no idea, you know, what inspired this palette. About Face Beauty is going to be coming to Ulta. Now, I have not tried anything from About Face. I'm curious, let me know if you've tried the brand, but we'll keep a lookout for that. We have new nail polish shades from Holo Taco. Uh, I'm not interested in these as I can't keep nail polish on my nails. Ho hum, we have a Tartlet Jewel Amazonian Clay palette, and I feel like they need to let this go. That's all I can say. Color story is done and overdone, and I it's limited edition. Um, I'm not interested in this. I think that if you like this color story and you need a mini palette, like I go for it, I guess, but this is a no. Okay, we have a new fragrance release. I'm gonna roll through some things, y'all. This is by Lupitin, is that how you say it? What is this called? Lubamar, Ocean Memories. We have floral citrus, lemon oil, and tuberose, and musk. I'm not sure if I would like that combo. I am getting into fragrance, y'all, but I, I really don't need to make that um, any type of, of habit. Now, we have a restock from Sugar Drizzle Cosmetics, Sugar Drizzle Polish. We've got some palette restocking. I might have spoken about this last week, I know a lot of people are really, really into the frog palette. I've seen one review, but I am passing on the all shimmer palettes. I know a couple of them do have some mattes, but I'm gonna be passing on all of these. Um, it looks like the restock has happened. So it says that these palettes are available now. I will have to put some info in the description box. I've already started working on my description box, so the info will be in there this time, y'all. Okay. Tarte has a smoothing primer, face tape, like shape tape. So that's something new if you need a primer. I really haven't been checking for Tarte too much, so I'm going to move on. Dior has a new mascara. Now, this is going to be a 24 hour buildable volume mascara, and the mascara builds perfectly to find lash by lash volume. So this claims to have no smudge and flawless definition, no transfer, and it contains blue flower extract, which is supposed to nourish the lashes. And as much as I love me some Dior lately, this is a no for me. I have not really been purchasing expensive mascaras. I've actually been using some samples that I've had, and I use a, a wide variety. So 
I'm gonna pass on that. Now it looks like we're gonna be having two releases from Adept Cosmetics. Now the first palette is called Gianna and this looks like it is a highlighter palette which is gonna be new for the brand. It says that they're working on all sorts of beautiful complexion products. So that is just something to kind of keep an eye out for. I really don't need highlighters, you guys. The one highlighter that I've been wanting that I might go ahead and bite the bullet on because I still want it and it's been about a month is the Rose Ink uh, Cream Highlighter. I would like to try that if it's anything like a highlighter stick type situation. I kind of like those creamy ones. I don't need any highlighting powders. Now this palette is an eyeshadow palette. It says they're working on more beautiful palettes and then Arrow, which must be another palette that's gonna be coming this year. It looks like this one's called Minka. So that's just something to keep an eye out for. You know, I will keep you updated. Now Sigma Beauty has seven shade mini palettes. These look like, well, they don't look like they are based on some of their larger palettes. So if you are the type of person who likes smaller palettes, I think these could be a good purchase. I'm gonna pass on all of these, but these are available now and they're $29.50 each. And yes, I do recognize all of the palette names. For some reason, I feel like Enchanted had a green in it and I feel like they should have included that in the mini palette. I think that's a miss if I'm thinking about the right palette. Now I talked about this a while back that Give Me Glow was releasing some bronzers and I guess they're releasing blushes as well and brushes. Uh, it's still coming soon, I'll keep you posted. That's gonna be a pass for me though. The Ordinary has a lash and brow serum. Might have mentioned that as well because I think that it was not available at the time, but it is available and it's $14.50. I'd be interested in trying this because I use the Grande Lash, which works beautifully and I don't need to, you know, fix anything that's, that's not broken but the price difference is huge. 1450 versus like 60 bucks. I don't know, but the difference could be in the performance. So I'm, I'm definitely curious. And maybe when I'm out of my Grande Lash, maybe I would try this next to, to, to see but I don't wanna lose my lashes in the process. So I don't know if I'm gonna do that. Here we have some blush and lip tint from YSL Beauty. I really had this on my wish list because it wasn't uh, released here at first, but I, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and pass. I really don't need this in my life, but I think they could be nice. There's three shades. And this is from their new line. It has hyaluronic acid in it. And yeah, it's a lip balm treatment as well. These are $26 each, so they're not unreasonable. And you know what, I will say this, because YSL Beauty has sales. So if I could catch like a 20% off, I would consider getting one of these. I like all three shades, but I think New Pinch and New Chills would be the ones that I would go for. All right, you guys, I have heard a lot about this palette, seen a lot of people talking about this one. This is the newest palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is called the Nouveau Eyeshadow Palette. And yeah, you know, they've changed their pan size, it looks like to that primrose um, size. So this is gonna be, I think $55 each. I'm, I'm sure it's 55, I'm, I'm kinda sure. This is a nice palette. I don't necessarily need that pop of purple. Everybody wants to do a pop of something. They could have just made a champagne shimmer there, but uh, it's probably gonna be a pass for me. And um, Anastasia has been in some controversy lately. And honestly, my gut is like right now, I just need to stay away. But it is a beautiful palette and I don't knock anyone who purchases it or anything like that. I mean, I really think it's nice. Some of these uh, brown tones, like there's this kind of, uh, I don't know what you call that brown, like the taupey brown looks nice. I love the melon shade down at the bottom looks like a like a melony salmon colored matte i think it's going to perform really nicely i think it's going to be a really nice palette honestly with eyeshadow i'm really just trying to chill so yeah i'm, I'm i am 
trying trying is the key word lys beauty has restocked their satin matte cream blushes these look beautiful i do not have any of these but they look gorgeous we talked about the vive palette um this is just a little set with the brush i did pass on the vive palette y'all i've had it in my cart about five times and i can't come up with anything that is uh, $120 to get me that free shipping. So I just have been like, no. Let's look at this palette by Catrice Cosmetics. This is called Rainforest Haze, which actually looks beautiful. I have not tried Catrice Cosmetics, so let me know if you have. I don't even know where you buy this from, but it's a nice color story. And it's $12, so nice color story, cheap price. Let me know if you've tried Catrice cosmetics this is going to be a pass all right but something i did not pass on are the new give beauty lipsticks now i skipped on everything thus far because you know gwen stefani like red lipstick is her signature i don't really wear red so i never really thought too much about her brand and i didn't need any liners i didn't care for the eyeshadow palettes but these look nice i've heard some good things i ordered one shade and it's the shade tragic me so let me show that to you it's this one right here i just know that that could be a go-to everyday lip color for me so i just wanted to try it um, i know she released a, a red gloss i think i skipped that oh it's right here yeah so i is this a new shade oh she's got two shades so i, I am gonna skip on the gloss or the the matte liquid lipstick excuse me but i did purchase one of the uh new matte lipsticks so yeah i will definitely try that out and mention when i have it on in you know subsequent videos we have a matte primer by nikia joy um this does not interest me because i don't like anything matte but i'm sure that you know just knowing who she is that this is probably going to be a nice primer now wet and wild beauty is also taking their turn with the pride collection so here it is and it looks like there's some brushes you got a liner some sponges and the palette of course and some mascara two mascaras this is available now and they are donating to charity that's that release just don't feel like you have to support a pride release to support pride or like you know organizations because you know we can donate at any time you know what i mean and that's something for me to think about as well actually so we have this release from westman atelier now this is a skincare powder I'm gonna go ahead and know this one right off the bat. Let's see how much it is, $75 each. So that's definitely gonna be a no. I always hear nice things about this brand. I don't know when I'll, I'll try it. So I'm gonna move on. Now let's talk about it, okay? Pat, this isn't even bad, y'all. So Pat McGrath has released the Midnight Voyage palette. Now, all of the shades but one are repeats and i would say that if you do not have a lot of pat mcgrath that this would be a a really good purchase because you're getting some good shades you're getting some shades that i really like for example skin show divine glow i think it's one of her better skin show shades i can't remember which palette that's in you have Extreme Aubergine, which is in Mothership 5, which I, I am really loving lately. You have Entrapment. Oh, where is Entrapment? I can't remember what palette Entrapment is in. Eleganza. What is that in Divine Rose, maybe? Divine Rose 2. Now, Bronze Venus, I believe, is the new shade, which looks really orange. But then in the palette, it doesn't. So I don't, I'm confused about that because it doesn't even remotely look like the same shade. I don't know if it's a duochrome. I don't know what, because that's new. But then you have Night Creature, which is from Mothership 3 Subversive, which is an awesome shade. So do I have $29? That's not bad at all. I'm not gonna get it. Let's just go ahead really fast and talk about the blush. I'm just gonna skip around a little bit because the blush has already released. Now, as of right now, because the blush is actually about to release, I am passing on the blush. I'm, I'm not doing it. I need to pass. 
I was, I really want the bottom three. And then I said that I was not gonna wear Night Bloom, which is this red, red one here. I'm probably not. I have my NARS blush palette that I can get that look from. But the two, the coral one and then the Paradise Glow, if I get anything, it will be those two. So I'm thinking about those two, but I, I also know I don't need any of it. So just, just to let you know about that. All right, let me go back down here. So Nomad with the palette is also releasing some other products. Looks like these may be some, some lip glosses or liquid lipsticks. So just wanted to show you those. Sugar Drizzle, I think I mentioned the teaser. This is the full reveal of the Sugar Dreams palette. Pastel Duochrome and Special Shimmers. This is a no for me. Nope. I mean, I like pastels now, but not like that. So I'm gonna move on. Now, Victoria Beckham Beauty, I've had this in my car in and out. This cream highlighter looks nice. Uh, it just looks very universal. It's called the Reflect Highlighter Stick. I am very curious about it. It's $42. It has strawberry butter in it. And what I liked was that it says that the cutting edge air core pearlescent pigments leverage hollow cores that catch and reflect light from all directions, like an infinity mirror. I mean, that is a description right there. But I don't know if I need it. I do want it. It is made in Italy and it is available now. Oh, I'll be thinking on that. Now I did see this release by Fawn Beauty. I've never heard of Fawn Beauty. This is the Orange Glow Lip Bundle and it looks like that is what they make. They make lip glosses and lip oils. So the gloss is 16 and then the Glow Bundle is 28. This is gonna be a pass, but it did catch my attention. Let me know if you've tried anything by them. I did purchase a cream bronzer from LYS Beauty. These became available on June 8th. And I purchased the shade Harmony, which is number four, that medium shade. They just look so creamy. They look like creamy goodness. <laughs> I'm really excited to try these out. So I will definitely show those in a video. Now we have a restock. Now we have a restock from Adept Cosmetics and this is the House of L palette. It is going to restock on June 22nd at noon CST. I have this palette. I have not done anything with it, but I I will get to it, y'all. I will get to it. All right, another release I am thinking about for sure are these brushes by Sydney Grace. They look excellent. They're tapered. I like the handle. It has that wood look. I think these are going to be really nice brushes. And let's see. They are going to be available on the 16th and they're gonna be 30% off. So I think that's gonna be an excellent price like to introduce their brushes. I think that's excellent. And that's all I will get. I will not get any single shadows or palettes, but I'm into this brush set and I think they're gonna be good. I really, really do. I'm excited for that release. Now somebody make it make sense. Make it make sense. Because I am just Daddy chill. flabbergasted at this release. I don't understand it. I can't unsee it. They need to take it back. Even though I still won't be able to unsee it. Why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? Nails Inc. La Dolce Velveeta Collection. You destroy. So, okay. Looking at the colors, okay, cool. Like, but now I can't unsee the cheese and the hot sauce and everything else. I just can't unsee it. The bottle is ugly. All of it's ugly, okay? It. Stickers. No. Creamy. No, no, no Velveeta shells and cheese. No, not to mention, here's the kicker. It's cheese scented. Terminate. Now we already had one stupid collab with Makeup Revolution and the, it was just all cheese, right? Velveeta, Velveeta shells and cheese. I cannot, I cannot. I, who wants their nails to smell like cheese? Who? Who? I cannot, and I cannot waste any more time because now I'm yelling. I cannot do this. Take it back. Take it back. Take this back too. I don't like it. Oh, we'll get to it. 
This is gonna be expensive, so I'm just gonna know this right away. Oh, we don't know how much, I'm sorry. Judgmental. Uh, this isn't, I don't, this is not even coming till the fall because it's not even available until the end of July in Japan. So we're gonna move on, we don't have time. ColourPop is releasing a big ridiculous box of lippy sticks and pencils. Now I did get a lippy vault and an eyeliner vault way back when, that's what I'm still using. Get it on sale. This, this is, I love their lip pencils though. I will say that lip pencils are great. Um, so yeah, those are super nice, but this is a lot. This is, I mean, what, how much is this? I don't know how much it is, but, um, this is already available. I mean, I will say if you like it, go for it. But these, I love these lippy pencils. I will say that. Hmm. Sale. Sale. Now, let me get to these Burnovich releases because there's a couple. We have this one. I think these palettes are like 14, yep, 14, 21. So these are available. I am going to know these though. So there's that green one, which is gorgeous. Let's see what the green one was called. Oh, the number four set. Can we get some exciting names? I don't see nothing about Tammy this week. I can't have no exciting names this week. What? Where is Tam? We have this neutral set, which is called the number five set. Okay. Look. <sighs> I am not going to be purchasing that. Let's see. Persona Cosmetics Dream Stick Blush. These are $26 each. Is that expensive? That seems expensive. These are a pass. I just don't need it. Now, this is by Barry M Cosmetics. These look like hourglass blushes. Eight seventy-seven a piece. These are baked marble blushers. This could be nice. This is gonna be a nice pass. We have a restock. Yes, June 9th. So this has already happened of the Cleona fruit lighters, and I'm not getting these. I've only used the palette one time, and it's not a fail, but it's not a fave. Now look at the. Now okay, this isn't a bad idea. Now okay, let's let's, let's look at this. Creature Cosmetic Labs. This is called the Monster Baby Collection. Now what I like about this is that it's quick. You got two shades and, and that's it. You can make a look, you got a matte, you got a shimmer. We can make this happen and I'm into that. Now what I'm not into is the, the you know, the whole gimmicky coffin type things, but I think this is a cute idea. Available July 15th, vegan and cruelty free. And I mean, this goes with their brand. It's called Creature Cosmetic Lab, so I get it. But I also get that it's a pass. But that's cute. Look at a little spread. Nope. This is a no. How many Coca-Cola collections do we need? So we had the Morphe Coca-Cola collections, which I'm guilty of getting the very first one, but I was new. I was new. Daddy, chill. Now I know better. Now we've got Makeup Revolution doing the, the collab here. We've got two palettes. We've got glosses, mascara, bronzer, I guess, I don't know. I'm not gonna get all into it because it's enough. Now we have the I Am palette. What is this? I Am, Crown Noir Cosmetics. This is cool, but it's gonna be a cool no. Very versatile palette though. And we have the whole restock of House Labs that, that has launched. I've had carts and, and, and then I haven't had carts. Right now it's a no for me. I'm watching reviews. I am tempted by the rosy tone bronzer because I don't have anything like that. Everything else is a no. Nope, not doing it. Now e.l.f. has got some luminous putty blush. Not sure what makes this different than the other blushes, but this is a luminous putty to powder blush. I am going to pass on these, but the colors look great. Now Glaminatrix is announcing their pre-order for the Nearly Natural Eyeshadow Palette. It's gonna be July 2nd at 5 p.m. $50, which is not bad. Hopefully if you get it, it does not arrive broken, but they have been good about replacing people's broken shades. I'm gonna pass on this. Yes, I am, and I'm sticking with it. Okay, so it's like eight hours later. So August had his little first grade promotion. So I'm the proud parent of a second grader and all my makeup melted off. So I didn't even wash my face. I just put everything back on because I was supposed to do an eyeshadow look for the little ceremony, but that didn't even happen. So whatever. Okay, let's get back to business. Talked about Glaminatrix. Okay, we have this blush. I'm not interested in this. I, no. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna pass on that. We have a release by 
Cajere Wise. Is that how you say it? It's a tenant moisturizer. Have not tried this brand yet, but I'm not in the market for a tinted moisturizer, but it does look like it could be nice. This is available at Nordstrom's for $45. Here's a new palette. Now I've never heard of this brand, the Mira Beauty Co. And this is called the Divine Palette. Now there are 12 shades, eight shimmers and four mattes available on the 17th. Again, I'm unfamiliar with this indie brand. Cute palette, but it's gonna, but it's gonna be a cute pass for me. I'm sorry, I'm passing on everything, y'all, but I feel good. I feel good. Talked about this release from M Cosmetics way back when. Looks like it's finally available. It's like a little pastel rainbow set. This is gonna be a pass. I, I do wanna try this brand eventually, but it's not like a priority at this point, but I have heard that it is a very nice indie brand. Now this palette I saw some reviews on. This is the Fantasy Cosmetica Druid Eyeshadow Palette, and this is available for purchase now, and that looks very nice. Nice pass. All right, let's see what else we've got. Restock from Black Moxie Cosmetics. This is the Fairy Light Collection. This is back in stock. I'm gonna pass. I'm sorry I'm being real boring this week, y'all. And we have some products by Drunk Elephant. These are hair products, it looks like. I don't even do my own hair. I am gonna pass. <laughs> oh, Copacetic is coming out with a Bookish Beauty eyeshadow palette. This is a collab with Pond de Replay. This palette is inspired by my love of reading, women of color in literature, and the woman who taught me to read. That's a very cute concept. I am going to pass on this. Um, the color story doesn't really call to me um, at this time and like I said, I, I just have a lot of eyeshadow on my plate. Okay, we've got the Gourmande Girls. This is part of the Radioactive Palette. Now, I think I may have showed the sneak peek for that. Again, this formulation looks very familiar. We will see what the rest of the palette looks like. And I think that's all we've got. Let me refresh. Oh, lies. What's this? What's this? Oh, Uma Beauty. Trippin' Smooth Powder, $29.50. This is a, okay, looks like a loose powder. A primer powered by the shrooms, by shrooms. Take a trip with us to blurred, smooth and illuminated skin. Trippin', okay, so there's the primer there, okay. Oh, okay, Trippin' Smooth Powder and then the Trippin' Smooth Primer. All right, it's got mushroom extract, chamomile water and probiotics. So it's smoothing, there's four shades and then the primer. Oh, it's matte finish, so that would definitely be a no for me. I think that's gonna be it. We talked about this Fenty Skin uh, Lip Oil, and that is available now. If you're into that, that is gonna be it for our girl makeup release radar. Let's go to Trend Mood and see if there's anything else. By the way, apparently, uh, and I, I didn't know this, so just in case anybody else likes Beyonce, she has removed her profile picture on all social media accounts. So apparently when that happens, it means she's about to drop something. I don't know what it is, but it's lame because, okay, Lemonade, yes. But like every year I'm used to going to a Beyonce concert. Like I will always have money for a Beyonce ticket, okay? It, I will find it, it will happen. But you know, with COVID, we haven't been getting anything. Now I did enjoy the Lion King soundtrack that she did. I still listen to it and love it. But Beyonce, it? And, oh, and I also like the Homecoming uh, special that she did on Netflix and that soundtrack was great as well. But I'm ready. I, I think I'm ready. 16, 17, 18, 10, six years. Yeah, I'm ready and, and able to listen to a new Beyonce album. Cause you know who's not giving us a new album? Rihanna. She's not. Uh, R9 is, I don't know, probably on hiatus for forever because I mean, she don't went and had a baby now. So already you're a billionaire. She's got, you know, a fantastic beauty brand and lingerie brand, but I want the music brand. Okay. I miss Rihanna. I mean, her last album, when was um, Anti? When was, let me look. I just have to look for my own 
my own um, archives. Oh, potential spam. Nope, was that 2000? Wait, was Lemonade 2016 too? Hold on, this was a good album. Okay, so that was January 20th, 2016. We're ready, Riri, we are ready, but she'll, maybe she'll have like the ultimate comeback after the baby. And then let me see, I wanna say Beyonce Lemonade was 2016 as well. If it's 2017, I'm gonna be, yeah, 2016. I was gonna be mad if I had that year wrong. Destroy. Where's my monkey noodle? Where's your monkey noodle? Yeah. What's a monkey noodle? It was the oh, that's in the other room. Hey, say congrats. Come here, come here. Let's tell everybody what happened today. I graduated from first grade. And you're now in the? Um, summer camp. Second grade. Oh, second. You're second grader officially. Hold on. Okay, look, look. Look on the side of the couch on that Halloween blanket. And then can you close my door while you do it? Did you see it? Yeah. Oh, there's the monkey noodle. Why are we calling that a monkey noodle? Anyway, let's move on to what we were talking about. I just want to let y'all know, because I know we have a lot of music fans too, but I'm trying to go see Beyonce, trying to go see Kendrick Lamar, but I can't even get through that album because I don't have time to even listen to it. But Kendrick Lamar is fantastic in concert. Oh my God. And did y'all hear the Migos broke up? I don't want to talk about it. All right. I'm just showing my true self here. Now let's go to trend mood. Okay, there's like a couple of teasers um, and I did see this. Oh, you know, I did not touch on this Kylie collab. Kylie and, is it Stacy? Cause I'm thinking it's Stassy. I was thinking Stacy would have one S. I don't know, because two consonants would make the vowel short, right? Like little, bigger. So is it Stassy? Daddy chill. Y'all let me know, cause I don't know who she is. Um. It's a BFF. Oh, that's her best friend. Okay, that's my best friend. Oh, look at. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I'm not getting any of this, so that's probably why I didn't click on it. No thanks. But I just wanted to click on that. All right. Mm -hmm. Now we have a sneak peek of some bronzing powder from Fenty. Is this is available in Europe? I will probably pass on these. I would like to see a bronzer from Pat McGrath. I'd be interested, but I don't know. I'm just trying to get myself together. And then we have a sneak peek of a concealer from Too Faced. That's a sneak peek. So that's all we've got for Trend Mood. Okay, hey guys. So I'm sitting up here, let me move over, getting ready to upload. And I realized there was a release that I, I wanted to talk about. Um, and I totally forgot because it wasn't on makeup release radar and I passed by it on makeup craze and then I went through and I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot. Like I wanted to talk about this. So I'm going to go back to, to trend mood. I wanted to talk about Isamaya French. Is that how you pronounce the name? So uh, I think there have been some sneak peeks of this new brand. And um, it's very interesting now. I was not familiar with this brand or this person, you know? So let me go to her profile page really fast. Uh, so yeah, definitely brand new. Okay, that's her. And she is coming out with her own brand. So she's got, she's got a very, very different style and um the brand definitely piques my curiosity so if we go back we see that there are a few products here you see the eyeshadow palette on the upper right my issue with it is this here because i, I don't know what i'm gonna do with that but i'm definitely interested in the palette but i I need a version without that on there. I mean, maybe it could be a display piece. So you've got the eyeshadow palette and here are the prices. So you can see that it is gonna be a pricey brand. And there it has a ghostly torso pressed through the lid. It's 14 pants, multi-finished pigments. You have the rubber lash latex lift mascara, which is an inky mascara. There's a maximizing lip serum and a high shine lip gloss. And then there's a brow pomade and a triple hyaluronic glow serum. Now, you know I'm into that glow serum. But um, yeah, this definitely intrigues me a bit. 
I'm not sure if I really need the color story of that palette, but the color story definitely attracts me. Love the black, love the navy blue in there, and it looks like there are some different shimmer finishes. So let me know what y'all think about Asamaya French. I wanted to include that, and um, yeah, I, I just, I totally skipped on that. So that's it, let's get to the, the other me. <laughs> I don't see anything new with Makeup Craze. Did we talk about this, the Lilo and Stitch? cosmetics what is this wait a minute oh i okay did we talk about this wet mop because i i damn sure thought it was color pop it's cute but um this is definitely a pass not really shades i need but a cute summer palette oh and she's got a makeup blind item <sighs> i'm never good at these y'all ever 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 never let me see if anybody got a trophy because when people get it right she puts a trophy no, nope, no trophy. Let's look at this again. City, something with glow, body, money. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. I, I can't. I just have to wait. All right, I'm never good at it. Let's go to Chic Profile Official. I don't think she has anything. I looked. And um, what is this? Okay, this is more Bobby Brown. I feel like all Bobby Brown stuff looks the same, right? This is the Flash Collection. Love Flash. This is a love pass. They don't even like they have anything on their eyes. Um, I, I just haven't really given Bobby Brown a chance, but um, I'm definitely passing on this. I'm not interested. So that's what we've got. And since I'm filming this all in one day, there is no future me to, uh, to, to edit anything in. So I did want to, what? Justin Bieber has Ramsey Hunt syndrome? Oh, wow. Okay. I'm getting sidetracked. Let, let me tell you what, what I'm thinking. Okay, I'm going to my Sephora Loves right now. And let me just show you what I've got in here just because for no reason. So I've got a lot of stuff that's been removed from cart. Uh, the Say Concealer, I'm just gonna totally remove that. And I don't need any fragrances, but I'm gonna leave that Killian Apple Brandy Parfum Travel Spray there. Now you can see I was looking at the house labs, you know, I think that these highlighters look really pretty. It's just that I know I don't need them. I just know it in my soul, but I'm really into this fire opal shade. I think that that looks really pretty. And I was also into the peach quartz. Now from what I'm hearing and maybe I need to see them in natural light, but some of them are kind of sparkly and I'm not into that kind of highlighter too much anymore. So I don't know. Like, I don't know if I could blind buy these. And with the reviews that I've seen, I've seen two. I, I can't tell. Like, I just can't tell. Now, I was looking at a bronzer and this is medium seven, but I was really looking at the medium five. That's the one that I kind of want and the reason that i want it is because it has a rosy undertone and i'm curious about what that would look like because i like the brown blush situation and i'm just wondering if i want to try that or do i want to go ahead with the paradise glow by uh, pat mcgrath i don't think those blushes are going to sell out so i do have some time to think on those blushes all right i was also looking for no reason at this laura mercier rose gold rose glow blush color infusion i don't need this i have blushes by hourglass and i'm thinking this is almost the same type of situation where it's got some type of um what do you what does it say in here rose glow pearl blend so i think that it gives you that nice shimmer without glitter i think it's almost like what what hourglass does i don't need this i'm taking it off the list because that's just too much now why do i have this on the list i just put that back on for no reason I am looking for, oh, you all can probably help me with this. So I am looking for a face exfoliator, like a little scrub, not the liquid ones, but like a physical scrub. I was looking at this one by Fresh, the Sugar Face Polish. Let me know. Okay, why? The full size has more stars, but this mini one doesn't. I saw about Ole Hendrickson. I think that's how you say it, maybe. And I have tried the Tatcha a rice exfoliator that's kind of expensive so i mean i could get that one again but um i'm not sure now what i'm really into is 
this rose ink hydrating cream highlighter i'm actually looking at two shades opalescent which is a cool pink and i'm curious about it i think it's going to be the same as kind of like that highlighter stick formula and i love this shade too which is glancing this almost reminds me almost in a way of that fire opal shade by house labs i'm just really into these like cream products now and cream highlighters which is kind of why i'm not pushing the button on the bronzer from house labs because I do have the LYS bronzer. So let me just show you the order that I, I made. Oh, and I'm looking for a new eye cream. So let me show you. In my car, I just have right now the uh, Ole Henriksen Lemonade Smoothing Scrub. If y'all know that if that's good, let me know. And then the Banana Bright Eye Cream. I'm picking that because I always see uh, Linda Hallberg use it all the time. I wanna say that's what she uses when she does her makeup, like her reels and stuff like that. And I think her makeup always looks great and her under eyes look great. So that's what I was thinking. But if you have something better, please let me know. And then for orders, this is what I have. So I did get the Hygiene Skin Glass. I did also order from Skin Glass Beauty. And I was thinking about maybe comparing them. I think they're two different products. You can probably use them the same way, but I, I wanted to know more. Now, Natasha Denona is removing the Skin Glass name from any future packaging. So this is a primer serum, whereas the Skin Glass from Skin Glass Beauty is a healing highlighting oil so this natasha denona product is going under the makeup while i will be using the skin glass beauty highlighter on top and the other thing is that you can mix the skin glass highlighter with blush and things like that and i would love to demo all of that out so love to compare the two of these i was i was really interested i love this like glowy finish that this primer is giving so yeah I, I really just wanted to try that out i told you all that i did get the lys cream bronzer and contour stick in the shade harmony which is this medium shade and then i got this give by gwen stefani shade in tragic me so i really love that shade and i'm so excited to try those three products out. I have been on Macari for no reason at all, just uh, seeing what's on there. I'm also looking forward to seeing if Lisa Eldridge is gonna be coming out with any new lip shades. I know she came out with a highlighter, uh, but I, I did not purchase that. The Sydney Grace brushes though. I think I'm gonna get those for sure, especially with the introductory sale for 30% off. So I'm gonna have that information. I, I wanna say that's already in the description box now, even though I haven't edited anything because I was like, oh, people are gonna be looking out for that. And um, I'll keep you posted about if I, uh, you know, decide to get any of the Pat McGrath blushes, but I really got some great blushes in my collection. I really, really do. So including my Pat McGrath blushes, and I think what's making it hard for me is that I really use my Pat McGrath blushes. Even This is my cue to go. Yeah, you can use my charger. I don't know where your iPad is. Marky, do you want that charger? Well, Marky, I have new charger. I had to order new chargers because I have the bootleg chargers and they, they're all breaking. So now they're not charging up. Let me know what you think about all of these releases. Let me know if you're feeling anything. Is it all a pass? Cheese? Just let me know all your thoughts. I am here for it and I love chatting about it. So thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me today for another purchase or pass. I hope this was therapy for you because it always is for me. So until I see you again, make sure you are being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice. Stay safe and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.